One bright and sunny Sunday morning, a tiny egg rested quietly on a green leaf. The warm sun gently kissed the egg and suddenly, pop, out came a tiny wiggly caterpillar. But oh no, this little caterpillar was very, very hungry. I need something yummy to eat, the caterpillar said, rubbing his tiny tummy. He looked around and saw colorful fruits all around him. His eyes twinkled as he found a juicy, delicious fruit. Munch, munch, he took a big bite. Mm, that's good, but guess what? He was still hungry. The next day, on Monday, he found one shiny red apple. Crunch, crunch, he gobbled it up, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he spotted two green pears hanging from a tree. Chomp, chomp, he ate them both, but guess what? He was still hungry. By Wednesday, the caterpillar came across three sweet plums. Slurp, slurp, he ate them all, but can you guess? He was still hungry. On Thursday, for bright, juicy strawberries called out to him. Nibble, nibble, but even after all that, he was still hungry. When Friday came, he found five big oranges. Peel, peel, chomp, chomp, and yet he was still, yep, hungry. But when Saturday arrived, the caterpillar got a bit too excited. He decided to eat everything he could find. He munched on a piece of chocolate cake, slurped up an ice cream cone, gobbled down a pickle, nibbled a slice of Swiss cheese, devoured a piece of apple pie, licked a lollipop, and even ate one more orange, a piece of cherry pie, a banana, a cupcake, and a juicy slice of watermelon. Phew, that was a lot. But oh no, that night, the caterpillar's tummy started to hurt. Oh, I ate too much, he groaned. The next morning on Sunday, the caterpillar knew just what he needed. He found a nice green leaf and munch, munch, ate it slowly. And finally, the caterpillar felt much better. He wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't tiny anymore either. He had grown into a big, fat caterpillar. Feeling happy and full, the caterpillar thought it was time for a big change. So he built himself a cozy little house called a cocoon and wrapped himself up inside. He stayed there for two whole weeks. Then one day, the caterpillar wiggled and squirmed until crack. He made a little hole in the cocoon. Slowly, slowly, he squeezed out and surprise, the caterpillar wasn't a caterpillar anymore. He had turned into a beautiful butterfly with sparkling, colorful wings. Flapping his brand new wings, the butterfly flew up into the sky happy and free, off to find new butterfly friends. And from that day on, the butterfly soared through the sky, living happily ever after.